thought of going back in over 45 years. And the fact that NASA has repeatedly admitted that we can't go past low Earth orbit. This next generation spacecraft will enable America to explore beyond low Earth orbit. We must solve these challenges before we send people through this region of space. Right now, we only can fly in Earth orbit. That's the farthest that we can go. The kinds of technologies that we're testing out on space station are definitely helping us with our goals of going beyond low Earth orbit. Early in the next decade, a set of crewed flights will test and prove the systems required for exploration beyond low Earth orbit. Isn't the slightest bit worth worrying about? And by uh, the plan that NASA has is to build a rocket called SLS, which is a heavy lift rocket. It's something that is that is much bigger than what we have today, and it will be able to launch the Orion capsule with humans on board, as well as uh, landers or other uh, components to be to destinations beyond Earth orbit. Right now, we only can fly in Earth orbit. That's we only can fly in Earth orbit. That's the farthest that we can go. And this new system that we're building is going to allow us to go beyond and hopefully take humans into the solar system to explore. So the moon, Mars, asteroids, there's a lot of destinations that we could go to.